The family of nine-year-old Ezra Blount, who lost his life after being severely injured at Travis Scott's Astroworld Festival, has now decided they will not accept any of Mr. Scott's money for funeral expenses. According to Rolling Stone, Travis Scott had extended this offer to pay for all of Ezra's funeral expenses after Blount passed away on November 14th. He had been in critical condition since the event on November 5th, though. In a statement, the Blount family lawyer Bob Hilliard said, Your client's offer is declined. I have no doubt Mr. Scott feels remorse. His journey ahead will be painful. He he must face and hopefully see that he bears some of the responsibility for this tragedy. And in a turn of events, Travis Scott is also being represented by a new lawyer. His new lawyer, Daniel Petrocelli, said in a statement, Travis is devastated by the tragedy that occurred at the Astroworld Festival and grieves for the families whose loved ones died or were injured. Travis is committed to doing his part to help the families who have suffered and begin the long process of healing in the Houston community. Toward that end, Travis would like to pay for the funeral expenses for Mr. Blount's son. Scott's new lawyer is famous for representing Fred Goldman at the wrongful death trial that found O.J. Simpson civilly liable for the deaths of Ron Goldman and Nicole Brown Simpson. He also went on to add that the acceptance of this funeral expense offer would in no way affect the lawsuit that has been filed by Ezra's father. In Bob Hilliard's reply to all of this, he said that for now, Travis Scott will have to respect that his own devastation is nothing compared to that of Ezra's family, adding, There may be, and I hope there is, redemption and growth for him on the other side of what this painful process will be, and perhaps one day, once time Time allows some healing for the victims and acceptance of responsibility by Mr. Scott and others, Tristan and Mr. Scott might meet, as there is also healing in that. During the festival, Ezra was on his dad's shoulders enjoying the show, but when the crowd started to get out of control, he lost Ezra in the chaos. Ezra's grandmother recounted what happened and said, Everyone was pushing. It was so tight with no exits. His dad couldn't breathe at all and passed out. We don't really know what happened to Ezra after that. They would later find out that he had been rushed to the hospital and listed as a John Doe. He would then linger in a medically induced coma for days on end until his organ failure was irreversible. No parent should ever have to go through such a heartbreaking experience like this. And Ezra's grandfather also added in a statement, I just think that there should be some accountability, cause for my grandson to end up the way he did. Something terrible happened. He's a small, innocent child. He didn't deserve that. He didn't deserve it at all. And despite not taking Travis Scott's offer for funeral expenses, the family of Ezra do have a lawsuit filed against Travis, Live Nation, Scoremore Management, and others involved in the event. The lawsuit also alleges that there was gross negligent conduct that resulted in Ezra's death while at Astroworld. In the lawsuit, they are seeking monetary relief of over a million dollars, and also that there was negligence in a great number of aspects, including crowd control, failure to provide proper medical attention, hiring, training, supervision, and retention. Live Nation also said that they will continue to support and assist local authorities with their ongoing investigation, adding that it will help both the fans who attended and their families get the answers that they deserve. But for now, that's all the time that we have for you today. Stay classy, and I'll see you on the next one.